What we're going to do in this video is think about how we mul might multiply 592 times 7. And in general, we're going to think about how we would approach multiplying something that has multiple digits times something that has one digit. And the way we're going to do it is the way that if you were to ask your parents, is probably the way that they do it. And so the typical approach is you would write the larger multi-digit number on top. And then you would write the smaller single digit number below that. And since it's in the ones place, the seven, you would put it in the ones place columns. So you'd put it right below the ones place in, right in the larger number. So right below that two, and then you'd write the multiplication symbol. And the way you think about it is, all right, I'm just gonna take each of these places and multiply it by the seven. So for example, if I'm taking those two ones and I'm multiplying it times seven, well, that's gonna be 14 ones. Well, I, there's no digit for 14. I can only put four of those ones over here. And then the other 10 ones, I can express as 1, 10. And so I'd put it up there. Sometimes when people learn it, they say, hey, 2 times 7 is 14. I write the 4 and I carry the 1. But all you're doing is you're saying, hey, 14 is 1, 10 plus 4 ones. But then you move over to the tens place. You say, hey, what's 9 tens times 7? Well, 9 times 7 is 63. So nine tens times seven is 63 tens, plus another 10 is 64 tens. You can only put four of those tens over here. So the other 60 tens you can express as six hundreds. So you can stick that right over there. Now a lot of people would explain that as saying, hey, nine times seven is 63, plus one is 64, write the four and carry the six. But hopefully you understand what we mean by carrying. You're really trying to write 64 tens, only four of those tens can be expressed over here, or that's maybe the cleanest way to do it. And then the other 60 tens you can express as 600s. And then last but not least, 500s times seven is going to be 3500s. And then you plus, and then you add 600s, you get 4100s. So 4100s, so it's 4144. Now I wanna reconcile this or connect it to with other ways that you might have seen this. So let's say that, let's do this again. So if we were to write 592 times seven. So one way that we've approached it in the past is we say, all right, what's two times seven? Well, that's going to be 14. Notice that's the same 14. We're just representing it a little bit differently. Then we might say, well, what is nine times seven? Do the same color and it's really nine tens times seven, that's 63 tens, so you might write it right over there, which is the same thing as 630. And then you could think about what is five hundreds times seven? Well, that's 35 hundreds. So you could write it like that, same thing as 3,500. And then you would add everything up. So you have a total of four ones, you have a total of four tens, you have a total of 11 hundreds, so you could write 100 there, and then regroup the other 10 hundreds into the thousands place as 1,000. 1,000 plus 3 thousands is 4,000. So we got the exact same answer because we essentially did the same thing. Over here, when we were carrying it, we were essentially regrouping things from here, and you could, you could think about it where we're condensing our writing versus what we did here. Here, we just very systematically said two times seven, nine times seven, five times seven, but we made sure to keep track of the places to figure out what each of those, you could think of as partial products would be. And then we added, well here we carried along the way, essentially regrouping the values. When we said, hey, two ones times seven ones, that's 14 ones, which is the same thing as four ones plus one 10, and so on and so forth. So I encourage you, one, it's good to learn this method. It's the most common way that folks multiply. Once again, your parents probably learned it this way. But it's really valuable to understand why these two things are the same thing. So really ponder that, think about that, and see if you can, if it all makes sense what's going on, that you're not just blindly memorizing the steps.